Hey you guys, welcome to Crafty Corners YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own personalized doormat using your Cricut. I have had one in front of my door for the past year and I always get compliments on it. They're super cute and they actually make great gifts too. I'm going to walk you through all the steps. It's super simple and I promise you anyone can do it. Let's get started. Alright, so for this project you are going to need a doormat. I found mine at Target for about 10 bucks. You'll need a Cricut maker or some sort of Cricut machine to cut your stencil for you. You'll need Cricut's permanent outdoor vinyl. It has to be permanent. You'll need the Cricut transfer tape. And then I'm also using the extra large scraper and a weeder. You'll need premium outdoor paint, a tape measure, and a paintbrush. All right, so now you want to design your mat. Mine is going to say, I hope you like dogs. Um, you can make it to say whatever you want. And actually, if you join our Cricut community group, I have given away six doormat um, designs, cut files that you can download for free if you join the group. So once you get it um, designed, get it into design space, and then get it ready to cut. All right, so now we are going to take our vinyl. You'll need to cut it to size and then adhere it to your mat. I like to use the extra large scraper to really push it down onto the mat and get any air bubbles out. Then once you're finished with that, load it into your machine and hit cut. I did just want to remind you, it is so important that you use Cricut's premium permanent vinyl. It has to be permanent, otherwise it will not stick if you just try to use the regular premium vinyl. So just remember, permanent vinyl. The next step is going to be to weed, which basically means just remove um, the letters from your stencil. Then we are going to apply our stencil to our transfer tape. If you've never done this before, I promise it sounds more complicated than it is. Basically, you're just going to take your stencil and put the words face down onto your transfer tape. So the transfer tape will have the sticky side up and then you'll put the words down on the transfer tape. After that, take your scraper and really push down so that your stencil fully adheres to the transfer tape. Then once you feel like it's fully adhered to the transfer tape, slowly peel off the back of the vinyl stencil and just make sure that um, everything stays on the transfer tape and you don't leave anything behind. Alright, now it's time to apply your stencil on the mat. Um, use a tape measure to make sure that you have it centered and straight. I actually don't know where mine is, so I use my Cricut mat, which was really helpful. And then just really push down and make sure that it adheres. I do want to say that applying the stencil to the doormat is probably the hardest part of this project, only because it will not completely stick to your doormat like you're used to vinyl sticking to glass or wood or whatever. But I promise that as long as it's permanent, it will stick just enough to your doormat that you'll still get the crisp and clean lines um, that you want for this project. I've never had to use heat, I just use the permanent vinyl and it comes out perfectly every time. So just take your time with this step and make sure that everything sticks All to right, the Alright, so the next step is going to be to paint. I am using Valspar's Porch Floor and Patio Latex Paint. I have been using this for a while. It's meant for floors, it has polyurethane in it, and I, it is a very good durable paint, so I highly recommend it. Um, if you don't have this, I would highly recommend using a premium outdoor paint because your doormat is likely going to be getting a lot of use. You can use a regular acrylic paint or latex or even chalk paint, but just know that it's going to start fading faster over time. Um, versus using like a premium outdoor paint like the one that I'm using today. Alright, so as you go, I really like to take a really decent dunk into the paint um, and apply it heavily into the doormat. So the fibers on the doormat are called core, or I don't really know how to say it. I'm gonna go with core. But um, it really will soak up the paint really easily. So I really just dunk it good, and then I actually start by just dabbing um, the paint into the bristles, into the core, and then going back and kind of brushing it out. So you can really go heavy with this stuff. Don't go frugal, um, apply it on thick. The other thing that I wanted to add was, as you go, you might notice that your stencil starts to kind of lift up a little bit from the um, core. Just push it back down, especially on those, um, the insides of the D and the O and the P. Just make sure that that's pushed down. 
and any time that you are going to paint just make sure you're painting over the stencil and that you're not accidentally painting under it as long as you do that you are good to go and then the last thing that I like to do once I have completely painted all the letters is to go back over and just see what areas maybe need a little more paint or maybe I missed some so before you just peel your stencil up just go back and double check do any touch-ups all right so here's what my mat looks like with the stencil on it I did want to add to um, if you're gonna do this for the first time I would probably stick with a simple design it gets really hard when you have lots of words with tiny letters um, so just stick to something simple to begin with or if you're a pro then go for it but the smaller the words are the harder it is to work with you can actually peel up your stencil right away I would probably recommend letting it dry but I'm kind of impatient so I like to peel it up right away just know you're probably gonna get some paint on your hands and I also like to use my Cricut weeder tool to get the insides of the letters out. You will want your mat to completely dry before you set it out in front of your house. I usually just like to wait overnight before I put it out. But that's it, you are all done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that it was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. I would love to help you out um, in any way. Definitely subscribe for more DIYs, like the video if you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.